Hello and welcome back. This is Sherry with Full Armor of God. I have a message for you today from the Lord. It has two scriptures that go along with it. The first is Psalm 17 in the New International Version Bible. It reads, Hear me, Lord, my plea is just. Listen to my cry. Hear my prayer. It does not rise from deceitful lips. Let my vindication come from you. May your eyes see what is right. Though you probe my heart, though you examine me at night and test me, you will find that I have planned no evil. My mouth has not transgressed. Though people try to bribe me, I have kept myself from the ways of violence through what your lips have commanded. My steps have kept, have held to your paths. My feet have not stumbled. I call on you, my God, for you will answer me. Turn your ear to me and hear my prayer. Show me the wonders of your great love. You will save by your right hand those who take refuge in you from their foes. Keep me as the apple of your eye. Hide me in the shadow of your wings from the wicked who are out to destroy me from my mortal enemies who surround me. They close up their callous hearts and their mouths speak with arrogance. They have tracked me down. They now surround me with eyes alert to throw me to the ground. They are like a lion hungry for prey, like a fierce lion crouching in cover. Rise up, Lord, confront them, bring them down with your sword. Rescue me from the wicked. By your hand, save me from from such people, Lord, from those of this world whose reward is in this life, may what you have stored up for the wicked fill their bellies, may their children gorge themselves on it, and may there be leftovers for their little ones. As for me, I will be vindicated and will see your face. When I awake, I will be satisfied with seeing your likeness. The meaning, Charles and Emily Briggs summarize this psalm as follows. Psalm 17 is a prayer for divine interposition on behalf of the righteous. The psalmist has been tested by God in mind and in conduct and approved. Therefore, he invokes God with confidence. The second scripture is Song of Solomon, verse, chapter 1, verse 4, in the King James Version Bible. It reads, Draw me, we will run after thee. The king hath brought me into his chambers. We will be glad and rejoice in thee. We will remember thy love more than wine. The, the upright love thee. Okay, the meaning breaks it down into the different sections of the actual scripture. Draw me means by thy grace and Holy Spirit. We will means both I, the spouse and the virgins, my companions. And this change of numbers teaches us that the spouse is one great body consisting of many members. Run after thee, this means will follow thee readily, cheerfully, and swiftly. The king hath brought me, this means Christ the king of his church hath answered my prayer. Into his chambers, this means where I may freely converse with him and enjoy him, he hath taken me into intimate communication with himself. We will remember thy love. This means this shall be the matter of our thoughts and discourses. Now for the message given to me on August the 23rd from the Lord, 2021. Alas, my beloved, and behold, for there is someone trying to steal your boyfriend away from you. She pretends to be your friend. But all the while, she is up in your business. You feel an off vibe coming from this woman. Be on alert, for very soon she will make her move. 
Watch how your boyfriend and she interacts. Is she behaving differently when you two are together? If so, then she has an agenda. Know this, my beloved daughter. If she succeeds, then you'll know at least he is not your life mate. Your potential Christian spouse would never betray you this way. Find someone who believes in me as much as you do. With undying love, God the Father and Jesus the Savior. So this is a message for a particular person out there who believes that a good friend of hers may be out to get her boyfriend and betray her and she's not sure if her boyfriend is the right person for her. She being an upstanding righteous woman and the scriptures point this out, as in Psalm 17, that she is pleading with the Lord to rescue me. So it says, rescue me from the wicked. By your hand, save me from such people. And that this person will be vindicated as mentioned in Psalm 17 and will see your face when I awake and be satisfied with seeing your likeness. So if this boyfriend is not her life mate, isn't the one that God has set aside for her to be with, then that could be a comparison to seeing his face would be a comparison to seeing someone who is a good Christian man that would be ref a reflection of Jesus' face, in my opinion. And in Song of Solomon, I believe the Song of Solomon is comparing God's love and being intimate with the king by having that intimate relationship you you're able to communicate with Jesus through the gift of the Holy Spirit and you're able to get the answers that you seek when you're seeking your life partner and that's a huge decision to make in your life and you have to be careful that you choose the right one and that's what Song of Solomon talks about is drawing nearer drawing nearer to the to the Lord your God and being able to have that intimate relationship with him so you can find someone that portrays those qualities and that you could have a lifetime of happiness and living in a Christian way. So this is the message for today. If you like the video, please give it a thumbs up, share and subscribe. If you believe that this video is speaking directly to you, please leave a comment down in the comment section. I pray for each and one, every one of my viewers and subscribers daily for a hedge of Jesus' blood protection over you to pr protect you from any type of harm. And... If you have any questions and or prayer requests, please send me an email at my email address, which is listed down below in the description box and have a blessed day in the Lord.